What's up you guys, it's Jono. Today I'm gonna show you how you can install Steam VR on your Oculus Rift S headset. It's really not too bad of a process. It used to be really complicated and I made a video about how to do it, but that video is pretty much outdated now so I thought I would make an updated video for you. Let's cover the basics. You need to have Steam installed. You need to have the app called Steam VR installed. Make sure that's in your library. And we'll go ahead and dive right into it. Let's look at Steam for just a second. I'll just show you how all that goes. Go ahead and connect to Steam. Go to your library and just make sure in your library that you have Steam VR. Now, it's not going to show here, you guys. It's absolutely not going to show. It's so confusing that it doesn't show here. So just go to the search and type in Steam VR. Okay, and then you'll see I actually do have it installed, but it doesn't show in my library. It's this weird kind of software thing. So this is very interesting. It's here. I have it installed. You can see that I can launch it, but you don't want to launch it. I noticed that it gives me errors when I launch the app without having Oculus open already. So what I'm going to actually do is put on my Oculus headset and let the Oculus software launch. So let's go ahead and switch over to my other view. And this is my Oculus view. You guys can see here. So we'll go ahead and dive into the Oculus view now. And I don't have any software open. So it's just me in the Oculus. Okay, let's make sure my camera still looks good. I think we're good on the camera here. Let's get my controls. Okay, I'm pretty close to my border because I'm sitting at my desk. But this should work. All right, you guys. Now we have Steam VR over here in my library. I launched it before and it shows up in my library now. So we'll just go ahead and try to launch it from here. Now I have been having a little bit of issues trying to get this thing to launch off camera, but I think it's because I opened Steam VR from Steam without having the Oculus launcher open and it gave me some issues because of that. So let's see if it's going to launch the Steam launcher. And it does appear to be launching the Steam Launcher. Now, the only thing that I didn't show on this video for you guys is the first time that you launch Steam VR, it's going to do some setup. You want to make sure that you have your Steam VR headset plugged in and turned on, and it's going to detect your headset and detect your controllers. Just make sure you have battery in your controllers. You should be good to go. Now, here we go, you guys. We are in Steam VR. The setup that I did off camera was only installing the Steam app and installing the Steam VR app. And I did launch it a couple of times and it failed, which if that happens, just unplug your headset from your computer, turn off all the Oculus software, turn off all the Steam software, and then plug back in your Oculus Rift S headset and then launch the Oculus software and then launch the Steam software. That worked for me. That's how I got to where I am right now. So I'm gonna attempt to launch the game that I wanted to play. Now I'm just sitting here on my floor. You guys, honestly, I should be in a chair right now, but I'm not in a chair. And you guys can see on the bottom right, it detects my controller. It detects a bunch of other things. All right, and also I got, uh, I got, wow, I, I got a firewall alert on Steam. Okay, wow, that's interesting. I got a firewall alert, okay. So I wonder if that affected my gameplay. Nope, doesn't seem to have affected my gameplay. All I have to do is stand inside the circle and we're gonna be able to start the game. So anyway, we did hit the firewall. Of course, I'm sitting on the ground, so everything's like super close up in front of me. And the I've also noticed with this particular game, the buttons don't appear to work and there's no way for me to interact with the environment. I don't know what you guys are seeing here, but there's no way for me to interact with the environment. The buttons don't appear to work. So that's unfortunate, which is why I'm gonna exit the game. Oh, right, you guys. So anyway, I was having some sound issues there and the game was like super, super loud in my headset. And of course, there's nothing on my screen now. So that looks weird. But anyway, we did get everything installed. We did manage to get everything working just fine. We'll just put something on my stream here. But anyway, the process is really easy. It used to be really hard and I'm having a particular issue with the game that I was just trying to play where it just won't work for some reason. But despite that particular issue with that particular game, Steam VR is actually extremely easy to set up. When you plug it in, it'll auto detect your controllers. It'll auto detect your headset, which you can see right here is this little thing. And if you're wondering what this controller is right here, this is just my Xbox controller, which I do have plugged into my PC at all times. So there's that. Now that's it you guys that's gonna be the end for this video There's nothing else to really do you just install steam install steam VR You may have to launch it a couple of times and it'll fall on its face a couple of times But as long as you launch oculus software before you launch the steam VR software You should be good to go everything went really smoothly for me 
Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And I'm just going to call this video, you guys. It's way easier than it used to be. There's basically no trouble, but some of the games don't really work. Like some of the controls on the games don't really work. I couldn't get that game to work no matter how hard I tried. So it's unfortunate. I'm not sure if that's a thing I have to email the developer of that game about. I actually did email the developer of that game about that particular issue to see if maybe it gets worked out. But maybe it's a controller bindings thing. I couldn't. I couldn't figure it out, unfortunately. So there you go, you guys. That's how you install Steam VR on your Oculus Rift S. It works pretty seamlessly and it's not nearly as complicated as it used to be. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to my amazing subscribers and peace.